NAPS program manager Dr. Shanti Singh noted that the use of the female condoms was introduced some years now to the Guyanese public. She noted that while the hope is to have it distributed throughout the country, the focus is on commercial sex workers. Because of the feedback, and this feedback was done um, in a very scientific manner. It wasn't anecdotal evidence, but the women that collected female condoms from us and who returned actually filled out the questionnaire on whether they were satisfied, um, you know, whether it, it took a lot of negotiation to use the female condoms and so forth. And so the feedback that we got subsequently made the national program even use its own resources to procure a female condom. And so last year, for example, we did buy um, a large quantity of female condom, but we have somehow managed to decipher that this female condom, because of the cost, needs to go into high prevalence areas. So our distribution was limited, not totally limited, but our priority was making it available to the female commercial sex worker population. Um, and so we did procure with our own resources. For the last three or four years, we've been getting small donations from UNFPA. Singh noted that focus on the correct training in the use of female condoms is ongoing. Singh noted that while the cost of female condoms is high, the overall cost for treating HIV cases is much higher. Um, it's very, very clear that the cost savings, not just the, well, importantly, the prevention of HIV and linked to that, the cost savings for governments and for countries and for people. Because whilst the female condom is, the price of the female condom is much higher than that of the male, but it, it's it's um, it makes good sense to invest in the female condom because when the calculations were done by Johns Hopkins and when they looked at at what would be the cost savings in terms of preventing new infections and so forth among the 200,000 women that they conducted a study uh, they showed that approximately 8 million US dollars would be saved annually which is really really significant um, translating that from from um, preventing new infections. With the availability of the female condom it is also seen as a tool of empowerment for women as the decision of protection is no longer left up to the male.